This is the Our Technology section on DriveWorksLive.com. I'm going to select our 3D tech stack. This splash screen introduces DriveWorks tech stacks, so I'm going to explore DriveWorks 3D. The layout of the tech stacks include navigation to guide you through the sections. They also have subsections like the ones you can see here. Our tech stacks are fully interactive, containing lots of information that you can have a go at. This first section is our introduction to DriveWorks 3D what it is, how it's created and some examples to get you started. DriveWorks 3D is configurable 3D that runs in an internet browser on any device anywhere. It is part of the DriveWorks core technology to allow you to configure 3D models on desktop, mobile or tablet devices. 3D anytime, anywhere. A great way to showcase your products and allow your customers a unique interactive way of configuring exactly what they want. And it doesn't stop there. Once configured, all of our other core technologies kick in to provide everything needed to quote, create CAD models, drawings, bills of materials and everything else to automate your designs. There are lots of ways to create DriveWorks 3D files. DriveWorks supports several 3D formats. 3D files can be exported from SOLIDWORKS and be imported from OBJ, STL, GLTF and both Inventor and Solid Edge parts and assemblies. Creating 3D content will help you and your customers to visualise product selections. Here are two examples of 3D configurators, one for play equipment and the other for a cupboard. I'll show you these examples in action before we look at the more technical aspects of DriveWorks 3D. And remember that you can also have a go at these at driveworkslive.com. So in the play equipment, I can move and rotate the model with my left hand mouse. I can pan the position of my model using the right hand mouse and if I roll my wheel I can zoom into the model. In this example I also have some different fixed views of the model that I can click on to select. So front is currently selected, I can switch to left or to right and the back. I also have options to change the play equipment configuration depending on which view I'm in. So I can change it to climbing wall. I've got an option for a swing. And also the navigation allows me to hit the arrow here to move on to more options. I'll just select the slide. You can see a back button has now also appeared. And I can change my options again. In a similar way, I've got an option to change the colour. And you can see that, depending on my rules, the different colours of different aspects of my model are being changed. All these options, of course, are controllable from within DriveWorks. If we have a look at the cupboard, I have the same movement as before. I can spin that model around, I can pan it around the screen, and I can zoom in. In this example I also have size controls and you can see by adjusting these slide bars that my model is updating. To do this I'm using a rule inside DriveWorks. Your forms can show the actual real-time size in millimeters if required. I just change these navigation buttons and I can add a different material. I'll progress again. I can change the door style. So these are all good examples of navigation. If I move on again, and I can also change the handles. So we know what TriveWorks 3D is, and we've even had a chance to play with it. So visually displaying products to customers interactively and looking great. So let's have a look in a little bit more detail. Let's have a look at section 2, which is configurable 3D. So there are different ways of configuring DriveWorks 3D files, replacing, moving and scaling. So we'll start by looking at replacing. 
For configuration purposes, all or any part of a 3D model can be replaced with another. You can see models swapping here as I'm changing my options. So you can see the climbing wall there has been replaced by the swing model. So this is replacing models. If a DriveWorks 3D model does not exist, then this can be created immediately in SolidWorks and updated in the model. While using this tech stack, you can hit the help icon here anytime and get more details about any of these topics. DriveWorks has concise and detailed help files. Here is all the information you need on replacing models. So we know we can replace models in DriveWorks 3D. We can also move models. So individual parts and subassemblies can be positioned in 3D using rules and this includes the model's location, translation and rotation. So this example here shows by changing the angle of the sweeper on the conveyor and you can see it updating in my 3D view. I also have a static view down here, a camera view, and you can see it's updating in there too. Just click on scaling, and you can see we have an example of a cupboard again. So individual parts and subassemblies can be scaled using rules. So this example shows the height, and the width, and the depth of my DriveWorks 3D model being scaled. If you notice I adjust the height there, you can see there's a rule to add or remove an adjustable shelf. This is great and configurable 3D means that your customers can clearly see their chosen options and order with complete confidence. Let's move into section 3. Section 3 is visualization and in particular appearances, scenes and cameras. This is what creates realism and controlled views. Let's start by looking at appearances. So in DriveWorks you can use appearances to apply a colour, a texture to any 3D model. These can be set with static values or driven by rules if an appearance is configurable. For more realism, textures can also be scaled, rotated and panned to fit the model exactly. And you can add extra realism with bump and specular mapping, change reflectivity and even render glass with realism. Appearances also let you control a model's colour, transparency, shininess, intensity and much more. I can show you this by adjusting these sliders. If we look at the top of the desk, we can see the reflectiveness on this material. can pick up the bump render here in the walls. If I turn that off, the walls are nice and smooth. And the specular map is quite subtle, but it also changes how much reflectivity and shininess there is back in the wall. Let's have a look at the scenes. So a 3D scene is much more than just models. A scene can include a model's surroundings, shadows, lights, cameras, and much more. Setting up a scene in DriveWorks is easy. I can show a skybox image. You can change this skybox image by creating or downloading a HDR file. You can also use the HDR file to use environment map lighting. So this is where the environment is casting lights onto the model. Now at the moment I can move my model all the way around. So to make the user experience better, you can enable camera limits. And once again, these are set up in your rules. Sometimes restricting zoom and rotation levels can really help the user experience for people who are not perhaps used to manipulating 3D model views. Again, this is simply a rule. Progression in web browser technology means we can add effects such as bloom. You can see that's added a glow here to my lights. 
I can enable depth of field. So if I wanted to change the point of focus, you can see the depth of field changes to focus on my selected area. The last option is ambient occlusion. And this adds pools of shadows or adds shading to the more shadowy areas of my scene, adding even more realism. Let's have a look at cameras. Cameras can be added to any 3D scene to show different views of the same model. This includes multiple cameras with individual controls. So you can see my cameras there pointing at various places on my model. I click show cameras and you can see what those cameras are looking at. This is still going to work in real time so if I remove the coupling guard and you can see that all of those views update. And even though I'm looking at camera views at the moment, my default camera is also updating to these configurations. Again, all great visualization tools to create spectacular 3D. The last option shows vignette. So you can change the shape and just create a frame around your configurator 3D model. If we move on to section 4, and this is all about interactive 3D. So interactive 3D allows your customers to engage as they are configuring by clicking things, moving things or creating layouts. So let's start with clicking things. So using DriveWorks, any model in a 3D scene can be made interactive. When items are selected, tasks and roles perform actions such as highlighting and positioning models. So here I can select the wall swatches and you can see how that's updating my model. I can also do the same with the floor. These click controls are assigned in DriveWorks to suit mouse clicks or touch screen when creating your projects. Note, the key shows controls for a desktop computer and a mobile device, and these have been set up in DriveWorks. So if I select this lamp, and you can see a section of the floor has become enabled for me to move the lamp. I can click on here, and you can see the, the position of the lamp updates, as does the lighting that goes with it. So we can click to select things and move things. If we look at the Move tab, and this example shows models that can be moved in 3D using mouse movements or touch gestures on the mobile device. Simulating movement makes your models more lifelike. So in this filing cabinet, this model has real-time rotate and pan, I can pan it around. If I select one of these filing cabinet drawers and then just move my right hand mouse button and you can see that file drawer opens. The rack and pinion combines movement with camera views. So you can see my camera views are set up here. And if I just drag one of these and you can see that model updating in real time. Again, this simulation looks great. The next tab is layout. So models can be added to any other model in real time using tasks and rules. This means that you can create assembly structures and complex layouts on the fly. You can combine this functionality with click and move inside a configurable assembly to create interactive 3D layouts. So in this room example layout, I can add items such as this glass table. And I can select it and move it to somewhere else. And just click off it to deselect it. Let's add some more. Click on the lamp, click on add to add it to my scene and then just select it to move it. And you can see once again the lighting effect goes with that lamp.
Let's add another one. I can select this plant and add it. I'm going to select it and then move it to the top of this glass table. Again, if I just go back a little bit and I'll put another lamp in here. That's lighting up my plant for me. These items can also be repositioned, select it and then move it and deselect it. One last one I'll bring in is a chair. I'll just select the chair and position it over here. And while it's selected, if I want to rotate it round, I can do that with my right hand mouse button. Let's have a look at the pipe layout. In the pipe layout, you can see my model and I've got a straight piece of pipe with the end point selected. And this allows me to continue adding more items to this section. So I'll start by adding an elbow. Again, using the click options in my DriveWorks 3D configurator, I can just change the angle on there. I'm happy with that. So I'll add another straight option. And I'm going to use this slide bar here to change the length. Then I'll create another elbow. Again, just change the angle. I'll just continue adding some more items. Now it might be that I've added an item that I don't want to keep, so I want to swap it. So with the item selected, I can change it to another item and just click on swap. And again, I can rotate that. So now I'm going to select this end piece here and add a straight. And if I select the other end piece here, I can start building from here too. So you can see the power of clicking and placing within a configurator. And remember, in DriveWorks, you create the rules for your products, so they behave exactly as you want them to. This project is an interpretation of a pipe layout. The next section we'll look at is text. The text entity in DriveWorks 3D creates interactive, driven, real-time 3D text. So in this example, somebody can change the font, and also I can change the text in there. So that might want to be your favourite football team. And I can also change the text depth. Our second example is a door sign. This might be to label a type of cupboard perhaps. And remember in your configurators you set the rules so you can decide how justification might want to be displayed and lots of other options. Virtual reality is an ongoing development in DriveWorks. The DriveWorks camera and orientation entities can be used to create scenes that can be viewed through VR headsets. Or the camera and orientation entities can also be used to enable interactive 3D previews using mobile devices. You'll find some great examples of VR in action at driveworkslive.com. Let's look at section 5. 3D scenes are easily set up in DriveWorks Administrator with the 3D Document Designer. DriveWorks 3D contains a feature tree similar to most 3D CAD software such as SolidWorks. All aspects such as appearances, rules, lights and movements etc. are controlled here through nodes, properties and entities. So if we start by looking at nodes, a 3D scene is made up of nodes, and nodes contain one or more part, assembly, light or camera. Nodes can be added to the 3D designer, or imported from the original 3D model. Everything in the designer is easy to set up and can be controlled by rules. You can see on the image here, the expanded feature tree structure of the 3D document designer. 
Properties control the content in your 3D document. You can apply static or dynamic views to each property. The property panel is here on the right hand side. You can control static values or enter new values to see immediate results. The dynamic values are based on rules and can also be created for each property using the rules panel here at the bottom. Rules give you greater control over each property in the 3D document. Let's have a look at entities. Adding entities to a node in the 3D document gives the node additional properties, functionality, capabilities and behaviour. These are added by extending the node property box and adding entities such as lights, cameras, decals, sprites, animation and much more. Again these properties can be static or dynamic based on rules. Entities enhance your scene further by allowing you to move and replace models as we saw earlier on. So from this tech stack you should now have a good understanding of DriveWorks 3D, one of the core elements of DriveWorks. You can create great visual, interactive forms to showcase your products, giving clarity and confidence to all your customers, and your internal sales, manufacturing and purchasing teams. DriveWorks 3D allows you to configure with style. DriveWorks 3D is just one of the core technologies that make DriveWorks the world leading technology solution that it is. You can learn more about the other core under the hood elements, the rules builder, form designer, CAD automation, reporting and diagnostics, integration and workflow that make up DriveWorks by exploring other tech stacks here. You'll also find several configurator sites that you can interact with and remember they have all been created using DriveWorks technology at driveworkslive.com